నమస్కారం అందరికి స్వాగతం ఈరోజు చిన్న అంతరాయాలకి మేము చాలా చింతిస్తున్నాము వీఆర్ పికింగ్ డూయింగ్ అవర్ లెవెల్ బెస్ట్ రిజాల్వ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఇష్యూస్ సో ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ ఫర్ డే ట్వంటీ క్లబ్ టు స్పోకెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ సిరీస్ ఫర్ టీచర్స్ మరి ఈరోజు మీ అందరికీ స్వాగతాన్ని తెలియజేస్తూ దేస్ అండర్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ యుఆర్ వాచింగ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఆన్ యూట్యూబ్ అండ్ ఫేస్బుక్ అఫీషియల్ సిరీ అఫీషియల్ ఛానల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ఈఆర్టీ మరి ఈ సందర్భంగా మిమ్మల్ని అందరికీ సాధారణంగా ఆహ్వానం ప తెలియజేస్తూ మరి ఈరోజు ఒక మంచి టాపిక్తో మన ముందుకు వస్తున్నారు ప్రొఫెసర్ రవినారాయణ గారు ఫ్రమ్ బ్యాంగ్లూర్ సో ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆల్ ది సో మెనీ టీచర్స్ ఆల్సో విత్ విత్ ఎస్ టుడే సో ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ ఫర్ టుడేస్ సెషన్ మరి ఈరోజు టాపిక్ చూసినట్టయితే activities to develop speaking skills very interesting i uh, hope uh, it will be very useful to you so i request uh, pokur shrinivas garu to introduce uh, today's uh, resource person to the audience our viewers yeah uh, thank you smile uh, welcome on the today's today a bit late with uh, technical glitches uh, what i observed is that uh, everybody is using network and um, there is a lot of fluctuation everywhere so we have with us uh, dr ravinarayan c is a professor at uh, regional institute of uh, english south india bangalore where he trains in service teachers in english uh, uh, english language pedagogy uh, he has an ma in uh, te sol uh, with the distinction from the university of lancer uk and he has worked uh, as a chair person of secondary language english textbooks for the De- department of education of karnataka um, and uh, his book on learning english uh, teaching english and english skills for teachers was published by oxford university press of india so uh, we heartily welcome to you with your entire team here today i think a lot of discussions will be there please whatever it may be we'll give the quality of the streaming from our side yes yeah screen is visible yes all right so today's session is on speaking activities and as uh, one of the philosophers said speech is a mirror of the soul as a man speaks so he is or as a woman speaks so she is is a mirror of ourselves uh so let's begin with an activity i am again those of you who are watching it on facebook or youtube you can use your chat box and type your responses others can use mentimeter all right so the question is do you find speaking in english difficult do you find speaking in english difficult you have to submit your responses on mentimeter and then tell me why if you find it difficult why do you find speaking in english difficult if it's not difficult then why how did you get that confidence to speak in english so i want all of you to go to those of you who are using mobile or laptop please open this link www.menti.com and type the number 720665 please go to menti.com and type this number 720665 yes others can use the chat box on youtube or facebook can you use this menti.com website please can you type your responses i don't see many of you submitting your responses can you submit your responses please on menti.com okay yeah please use menti.com and type seven two two zero six five okay yes so many of you are saying yes because of lack of vocabulary yes difficult kalyani is saying difficult lack of environment and then bharati is saying to some extent because there is no scope for using the language all right and 
some yeah scared of grammatical mistakes yes 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 so many of you are saying yes yes due to lack of confidence amrita latha is saying yes due to lack of confidence saujane is saying no only yeah sometimes and jana jagadamba yes because it's an it's because of native language lack of usage monika is saying no padmavati no but sometimes all right yes so only sometimes many of you seem to say speaking in english is difficult only sometimes it's not difficult always it's difficult sometimes so why is it difficult sometimes why of you seem to say not at all all right so why is it difficult to speak in english can you give some reasons yes why is it difficult to speak in english some reasons all right yes reasons lack of vocabulary lack of environment okay lack yes nagi ready saying yes because lack of vocabulary and wani bala fear of making mistakes yes and lagar is saying yes because i have i had fear from my childhood itself all right i feel a little difficult because lack of practice sujatha is saying lack of practice and appala raju is saying because we are not native speakers all right it's not our mother tongue bharati is saying it's not our mother tongue right is a foreign language narayan swami is a foreign language like a practice right yes very good responses yes yes lack of confidence pashup narsimha murthy garu lack of practice here sujana lack of exploration okay lack of karimulla karimulla garu is saying lack of grammar knowledge lack of usage vedavalli all right yes okay so many of you seem to say it's difficult because we lack practice there is no environment where we can use english regularly all right yes we studied in yeah anumala shetty prabhakar is saying because we studied in telugu medium all right yes ah uh, and yes lack of exposure sunita is saying lack of exposure right oh excellent excellent yes stage fear venkatakshna reddy is saying is because of stage fear all right okay that's natural it's very natural i think we are not born with uh, these skills skills to speak in another language we all can speak fluently in our mother tongue we can speak effortlessly in telugu or in my case it is kannada so speaking in our mother tongue is natural it's effortless whereas speaking in another language in a foreign language like english takes time so if you look at uh, the child's development in terms of their ability to speak so they start with babbling right making a noise children at a very young age at the age of 1 one, one and a half years they make many interesting sounds so they begin with sounds that's called babbling making a noise sounds don't mean much actually uh, we can't really distinguish between an indian baby making a sound and a japanese baby making a sound or a chinese baby it's very difficult to distinguish the sounds sounds sound similar right only it i mean parents can infer the meaning from the sounds whereas i mean others it's very difficult to understand what young babies are saying don't have to teach they'll they'll pick up from the environment so this is very natural how we all learn in our mother tongue so children start babbling then they produce isolated words then they produce combinations of words like like greeting or repeating what their parents say and then they reach the stage of producing natural continuous speech 
they are able to convey the meaning by making sentences by constructing meaningful sentences connecting one sentence with another so that's uh, called natural continuous speech so this is a journey all of us have gone through but what is the role of a parent in helping their children pick up language or develop the speaking ability and what is the role of teachers in contrast so parents generally they help children acquire language right they speak to children they listen actually they listen to children more often and they answer children's questions okay so parents listen more they try to answer what their their children are asking whereas we teachers we do the opposite we speak more in the class we hardly give opportunities to students all right so we teacher talks more and teacher always asks questions but in the case of parents they answer children's questions we teachers we ask questions and expect students to answer i mean so we play a different role at times most of the time so learning a second language uh is not a smooth journey all right there are hurdles there are constraints it's very difficult for children to pick up language a second language naturally they have to put a lot of efforts so it's not an effortless process like learning a mother tongue learning a second language requires a lot of learner effort so ability to communicate fluently is a long journey that we have to embark on we don't acquire or two it's a long journey all right which all of us have to embark on and we need to learn how to listen to and understand the language around us right we need to learn how to listen to and understand the language around us and then okay how to take part and then we have to understand how to take part in conversations right for example even in this presentation we have got another six teachers i've got another six teachers with me uh, i'll be conducting some activities so they'll have to wait till they get their opportunity they have to wait for their turn so they should listen to the presentation so they should know when to listen when to talk when to interrupt when not to interrupt all right you have to wait for your turn and then you should also know how to perform all the functions of language you've been learning about language functions all this while how to greet how to ask for directions how to give information how to apologize in english how to thank how to ask for help how to invite all these are functions of language so you need to perform all the functions of language so that is your ability to communicate we learn to do all of this naturally in our mother tongue nobody has to teach us whereas to communicate orally in english is not that easy it's a challenge to acquire speaking ability in a non native language all right now i'm going to do some activities i want all the teachers uh, in the studio to turn their video on all right so please unmute yourself and you can turn on your video i'm going to show you some tongue twisters so one by one you have to say the tongue twisters three times others can also practice uh, those who are watching on youtube you can practice yourself right so say the tongue each tongue twister one by one three times please ha huh. who is going to who is going first i my name is uh, rasvi i am a teacher at mpps uh, dagwan palam poly sindurti mandal visakhapatnam i'm going to start yeah cup of coffee cup of coffee cup of coffee kitten in the kitchen kitten in the kitchen kitten in the kitchen good is it and ah, sir next one next one all the five or six hmm. grape grapes grape grapes grape grapes 11 elves 11 elves 11 elves the big bug feed the little beetle the big bug feed the little beetle the big bug the little bit fresh fried fish 
fresh fried fish fresh fried fish Black. that's enough that's enough okay next please thank you sir yeah thank you sir this is pavani sir sir can i start sir please start this is pavani mpps golamallapalli pranthaka mandalam prakasan district can i start sir yes cup of coffee cup of coffee cup of coffee kitten in the kitchen kitten in the kitchen kitten in the kitchen greek grapes greek grapes greek grapes 11 elves 11 elves 11 elves the big bug bit the little beetle the big bug bit the little beetle the big okay. bug bit the little beetle thank you next ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ओके सर प्लीज सुधारानी आर यू डन नमस्कार या ट्राई कप ऑफ कॉफी कप ऑफ कॉफी कप ऑफ कॉफी किचन इन द किचन किचन इन द किचन किचन इन द किचन ग्रीक ग्रेप ग्रीक ग्रेप लेवन इन लेवन इन लेवन इन द बिग बग बिट द लिटिल बिट द बिग बग बिट ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू या नेक्स्ट प्लीज या प्लीज म्यूट योरसेल्फ सर यू अनम्यूट आ Pasha, Pasha Garo, unmute yourself, please. Yes. Ah. Ah. She no, sells. You. She sells at the sea shore. She sells. She sells at the sea shore. She sells. Uh -huh. She sells at the sea shore. Where is it? Where is it on the screen? Is it there? All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Well, Mohan. Yeah. Thank you so much. uh next one i'm going to give you a few incomplete sentences you need to complete them all right these are all open ended sentences please try to complete the sentences one by one you can take up one sentence try to complete that okay others those who are watching this program please type on your chat window youtube or facebook all right on sundays i usually dot dot on dot sundays i usually visit beach arke beach <laughs> all right okay thank parents you parents should always love us okay stop you can stop next please ha huh. nagalakshmi sir i am nagalakshmi from vishpura district my children will help me i know i have never committed a mistake okay i like people serving others i find it difficult to solve some problems okay thank you thank you thank you you can mute yourself who is next sir i am sridhar sir uh, yes sir may i visible sir yes yeah 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 go ahead on sundays i usually go to market mm -hmm. parents thank should you. always warn the children mm -hmm. my children will quarrel with each other <laughs> I, i like people those who are good character mm -hmm. i find it difficult to uh, that's all sir okay thank you thank you all right who is next <laughs> sir this is amir yes. basha from anantapur yes on sunday i usually go to fish market buy fish fresh fish and make chick, uh, fish curry all right this is my habit i love it very much yeah next sentence one choose any other sentence okay on sunday i usually no, no no go that's for all. this next one Who is the next speaker? Sudarani, are you there? Yes, sir. 
Yes. On Sundays, I usually watch movies. Mm. Parents should always care the children. My children will always love school. I have never mm. liked it. I like people who talk with smile and care. I find it difficult to scold others. Mm-hmm. I am not interested in. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You can mute yourself. Now we have got many interesting responses on the chat window. For example, my children. Why they are saying my children will love us. I request Amir Basha Gari, you please mute your microphone. Ha. Huh. Okay. Kanak Kadev says this. I usually go to, and then I like people praising me. Talari Sharat is saying I like people. Raising me, all right. My children will help me at home. Sri Lakshmi is saying, uh, and then I spend my time. Where is that? I spend my time. Nazir, okay. No, Venkat Ramana. I spend with my. Okay, all right. Yes. And Jagadam by saying on Sundays I usually stay at home and enjoy and enjoy with the family. That's interesting. All right. Prasanna Garu is saying parents should always teach moral values. Parents should always teach moral values. Interesting. All right. And then I have never. Vani Sulochana is saying I have never quarrelled with my sister. I have never quarrelled with my sister. Okay. Excellent. Very good. I have never. Okay. Then parents should always advise to their children. All right. Rajeshwari is saying I usually send. Sundays, yes. Think he say on Sundays I usually have non-veg. All right. Uh, all right. Mary Kumari saying on Sundays I sleep for a long time. Yes. I'm usually busy with household work on Sundays. Bharat is saying. All right. Vinkata Vara Shiva Prasad is saying. All right. It's a very useful class. All right. Interesting. Very interesting responses. So these are small little activities which you can conduct in your classrooms and help children make an attempt to speak is it very difficult for your students to complete these sentences i don't think so see i mean, all of us make mistakes obviously in the chat box when you all spoke there were a couple of mistakes but that's all right mistakes please don't point out mistakes they are natural part of learning process all right okay now another activity i am i am giving you answers on the screen what you need to do is frame questions according to the answers you see on the screen so please use the chat window again the answer is what you ask me my answer is yes i did you have to ask me a question so what is your question please mute everybody mute your speakers here all right so what's your question you can type in the chat window others can speak here one one after another my answer is yes i did what's your question Sir? Yes. Did you have breakfast? Yes, I did. Excellent. Next, please. Same, same answer. Yes, I did. Another question. Sir, hmm. do you complete your homework? Did you complete your homework? Huh? Excellent. Yeah, yes. Yes, sir, I sir. did. Yes, I did. Good. Next. Mr. Ravinare. Please unmute. Pasha sir, unmute. Ah, uh, uh, sir, Ravi Narayan sir, did you yes. pray today? <laughs> Excellent, very good. Did you pray today? Yes, I did. So, did you have breakfast? Did you complete your homework? Any other questions? Anybody? Maybe you should all look at the chat box. Uh, there may be some many some interesting questions. Right. Uh, I'll just check. I'll check. Hmm. Do- did you your question should begin with did did you did you read this email venkata ramana garu is saying did you read did you taste my dishes yesterday surya kumari did you okay did you complete your did you finish your bath all right one second i'm sorry so sorry okay uh that's right okay next did you complete your notes did you yes 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 and then did you yes did you visit taj mahal krishna reddy krishna reddy garu very good did you 
visit taj mahal okay did you breakfast today is not grammatically correct did you breakfast did you eat your breakfast or did you have your breakfast all right did you have your lunch rama mohan did you have your lunch did you go for walk did you go for a walk rama yes did you see the mahesh film sudeshna is asking did you see the mahesh film did they listen to the webinar very good next one no trekking that's my answer no trekking what's your question do you like trekking no no trekking see answer is no trekking that's not the right question okay ask me the yes try try keep trying yes no trekking like playing no do you like playing football uh, do you like playing football no trekking Uh, then you climb a mountain okay what do you do you climb mountains do you it no call it a, do you call it as a climbing mountain yes yes okay all right hmm. then can you run 10 miles have any interest can you run 10 miles not really all right i am trekking today that's huh. it and huh. uh, the question is uh, other response is no trekking ha huh. so there i mean these speak teachers they are also doing it on the spot like all of you we have not not prepared them please understand this activity is done on the spot without any preparation all right so this question is actually related to my hobby no trekking so is watching tv your hobby no trekking for example no trekking is my hobby all right do you like reading books no trekking i like i like going on a trek all right so it's related to your hobby okay next i can't answer that question that's my answer what's your question i can't answer that question can you answer this question no no i can't answer that question all right so imagine that you are interviewing somebody and these are the answers he or she has given you are interviewing someone and these are the answers so what what are your question yes keep trying yes I can't answer that question. What is the question? What is your the most important thing in your life? Okay, what is the most important thing in your life? I can't answer that question. I'm sorry. Yes, that is. Yeah, one. good, good question. Then one quote is. What is the most memorable moment in huh? your? Uh, Kareem? Okay. What's the most memorable moment in your career? Sorry, I can't answer that question. Okay. What do you yeah. like? Yeah. Who do you like most? Is your wife or your mother? <laughs> Who do you like most? Your wife or your mother? Or you can add your daughter. Who do you like most? I'm so sorry, I can't answer that question. Yes. Next. Do you know what is the reason that? Uh, Sorry, uh, Pawani. What is the question? Do you know what is the reason for that parent? Do you know? What do you know? What is the reason for that parent? Do you know the reason for the quarrel? No, I can't answer that question. I can't tell you the reason. <laughs> right. Sir, sir, Rabi Narayan sir. Yes. Sir, uh, can you prepare Hyderabad dum biryani? <laughs> uh, i can answer that question actually no i can't prepare all right so look at the chat box everybody so yeah please look at the chat box where are you going to settle rama devi is asking where are you going to settle i can't answer that question if you bunk classes in the college very good how many stars are there all right vinil rani and then are you planning to get married geeta lakshmi is asking i can't answer that question very good All right. Do you like singing? How long would you live? Okay. Venkat Ramana Garu is saying, "How long would you live?" I can't answer that question. Have you ever gone to Delhi, Nagesh Nageshwar Rao? All right. Yes. Excellent. When will this pandemic situation end? Sri Jay is asking, "When will this pandemic end?" I can't answer that question. All right. Tell me a medicine for Corona. Corona. I can't answer that. Can you drink hot tea? Okay. Very good. Next. that's quite true that's quite is my response what is your question yeah think you have to think 
it's not that that easy. It's not as easy as the activity we did earlier. You have to really think and then ask your questions. That's quite true. This is in an interview context, all right? Yes. You will have to unmute. You have to unmute. Ha, huh. Sridhar sir. Happiness sir. is the way of your life. Oh, that's quite true. Very good. Is happiness the way to live? Yeah, that's yeah. quite true. Hmm. Then. Sridhar. Sir. Sorry. Hmm. Sir. Yes. Are, are you an ideal person to teachers? Oh, that's quite true. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> are you an ideal person to all the yes teachers? Okay. Next. Thing. Student situation is very horrible. That's pandemic yes. It should be a question. Please remember, you have to ask a question. Yes. Ah. All right. Then we will move on next. Uh, okay. Yes. India is incredible. Vidya is saying India is incredible. That's quite true. But that's not a question. You have to frame a question. Honesty is the best policy. It's a statement. All these are statements. Prasanna Garu, honesty is the best policy, is a statement, it's a proverb, all right? Your teaching is very interesting, it's a statement, it's not a question. Ask a question. Have you ever acted in a film? Why they have you ever acted in a film? That's quite true. Yes, answer is yes. Okay. Uh, are we in a pandemic situation now? Yes, that's quite true. Yes, that's right, that's right. Excellent, very good. Are old age people affected easily by corona yes that's true you yeah, are old age people that's a good question chenna venkat is asking yes or next one never my answer is never what is your question do you dance anytime never okay do you dance? okay next hmm. did you act in films Never. Did you act in films? Never. Mm. Did you sing a song? Okay. So it's better if you begin your question with have. Have you ever acted in films? I'll say never. Have you ever acted in films? Have, have you ever... In... Ah. Sir, Ravi Narin said. Yes. Have you ever been to USA? Very good. Have you ever been to USA? Never. Have you ever been to USA? Never. Good, Basha Garu. Yes, next. Thank you. Mm. Any other questions? Have you ever been? To, have you ever been to see Australia? Have you ever been to Australia? Ne never. All right. Okay. Good. So, have you ever seen the tiger closely? Prasadus is asking. Have you ever seen to? Have you ever seen the tiger closely? All right. Can you climb Everest? Is not the right question. Can you or oh, never? Okay. And then, okay. All right. Have you ever hated animals? Ishwara, never. Have you ever been to London? Can you act? Okay. All right. Next. Australia is my answer. Australia. What's your question? Which is the smallest continent? All right. Which is the smallest continent? Australia. Yes. What is the land of kangaroos? Okay, kangaroos. what is the land of kangaroos? Australia kangaroos. is the land of kangaroos. That's yes. right. Very good. Where? Sorry. Where who, is, is who is the cricket legend? Who is the cricket legend? Australia <sighs> is not here. Yeah, that's not the right question. Yes. yes. Right. All right. So which is your favorite country? You can ask. Which is your favorite country or continent? Uh, all right. So which country did you visit so far? Sir, Ravid Narayan, sir. Australia is the biggest island. Ah, island, right. it is. Island. Okay, so your question can be, which is the biggest island? Yes, island. Australia is the is the response. Australia is the answer. All right. Okay, so we will stop here and then continue with with the session. I'm not very good at. Next one is I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good at it. it Happened to me, for example. Did you ever meet, for example? Did you ever meet Akshay Kumar? Yes, that was the nicest thing that ever happened to me. Or have you ever, have you ever met any film actor or actresses? Yeah, that was the nicest thing that ever happened to me. All right. You can't ask, for example, have you met with an accident? No. Have you ever 
gone abroad yes that was the nicest thing that ever happened to me all right so it could be in present perfect or in simple past tense as well all right okay now what we will do is i'll give you topics so maybe you can also meanwhile see the chat window our teachers are coming out with very interesting responses all right so which is a small continent wani for example yes have you ever been yes yes right excellent responses please go through the chat window there are many interesting answers and answers and questions all right okay good excellent thank you so much now these are your topics what you have to do is interview each other so you decide who you are going to interview some six of you right select any topic from here i have given you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 topics choose any one topic all of you i mean, please don't select the same topic choose different topics and try to interview each other if interviewing is difficult right now you can actually speak on the topic it's up to you just take just one minute think about the topic and then speak on the given topic or ideally you should interview each other one will be asking questions and the other will be responding to the questions all right so let's try this for another 2 minutes i'll give you 1 minute time to think prepare yes meanwhile uh, viewers on youtube youtube or facebook can jot down your points in your notebook please think write down in your notebook and then type your responses in the chat window all right so you can just type three or four sentences on one of the topics yes so is interview okay for you i mean teachers in the studio all right on this zoom platform so who is going to interview whom sir i am going to interview uh, rajini madam okay all right good thank you yeah next sir, rajini madam garu yes ready ha ah, i'm ready sir i'm always ready okay madam how yeah. can you make your children speak good english so which yeah. topic did you choose wait wait which topic did you choose sir uh spoken english spoken english so you're going out of topic all right yeah carry on yes madam how can you make your children speak good english at your classroom yeah very interesting question sir my favorite question uh, my children and myself uh, the starting hour we start with uh, a good uh, prayer and uh, i always interact with my children in the classroom with uh, one of the beautiful rhymes we together okay. dance with the music and uh, we will start the session uh, with uh, such a music that all come together and uh, we dance and sing together sir that is the okay. first thing and uh, after that uh, every day i uh, prepare some constructions of the sentences and okay. i practice them uh to two sentences uh, all the children my students they come uh, everyone and they speak something about with that construction now i can play i can sing uh i can jump yeah. like okay. that construction okay madam uh, uh, if if you come across a, a, a boy or a girl who is having yeah. some problems in utterance and not able to open his uh, mouth at all Yeah. How do you encourage her? Her. Yes. Uh, nice question, sir. The problem is uh, with them. So first, uh, I just uh, I go to her, and uh, I repeatedly utter the sound. It takes uh, some one hour, two hours, but I make her to speak. It takes so many days, but at last, uh, some positive response will come from him or her. That is okay. uh, my effort. Okay. Okay. Madam, in higher third, third, fourth, and fifth classes, yes, sir. Uh, uh, learn uh, big sentences. Yes, sir. How uh, how do you train them? Yeah. Uh, fourth and third and uh, fifth students, uh, as I have already spoken to you, that already have introduced some words in the primary classes. so with the help of those and with the help of the textbook uh, we prepare some sentences so every day we give practice to them in the prayer in the assembly and the end of the uh, class 
all the classes uh, my school teachers are very active making them to speak english my school i like my very much and we actively yeah, engage you. them in speaking english thank you so much oh, thank, you, thank, thank you madam and rajini ma'am thank you thank you thank you the next please please so, okay. ha huh. so next i will i will take yes sir you, who is going to answer your questions i go i going to sudarani ma'am sir i am going to interview sudarani can we see your video yes are you there ma'am yes yes ma'am the topic is how i spend my lockdown days how i spend my lockdown days sudarani ma'am i am busy with my yes sir am i am i able ma'am ah yes this is breaking but it's okay carry on it is very useful you can stop the video and use only audio this is not uh, audible ma'am yeah not clear stop video stop video and then conduct the interview that's better ha huh. now ask pavani madam yes yes in this lockdown days you how, how you used to this day ma'am how you spend with your children ah uh, yes my children were very active and hyper active they were uh, i'm struggling with uh, them also and a uh, lot of uh, time i'm spending netflix night because of their uh, <laughs> okay thank you your voice is not that clear but it's okay all right now shridhar sir mr shridhar would you like to choose any topic and speak can you speak sir. yes uh, yes sir yes the best teacher i ever had okay who, who will respond for that okay. sir yes sir respond so, sir ha uh, nagalaksh madam will respond yes yeah, please start who is best teacher in your life madam my primary school teacher ramraj garu is my best teacher because of him i motivated a lot and now i became it now i stood before the children as a teacher only because of him so i can say that he is the best teacher and moreover the first best teacher is my mother oh very good madam where is your teacher now madam ramraj sir where is where is now now he is uh, working at east godavari malikapuram sir oh okay ma'am he to teach us english and hindi oh, okay and we and many okay. of many students inspired a lot with his okay, teaching okay ma'am okay ma'am tell me questions ma'am i will answer who is your about best teacher in your last sir ma'am my madam my best teacher is ragunath sir in uh, when i was studying in intermediate intermediate classes my lecturer ragunath sir is best teacher to my, to my life in my life madam now he is in mahbub nagar district nagar karnal i think he is a very good teacher good good lecturer to me madam i never forget him madam okay all right that's all thank you so much Thank, thank you. you sir. Yeah. Thank you. Sir, can thank I you. interview any teacher? You can just ask questions. Maybe interviewing yes. will take time. Please keep asking questions. Yes. 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 Yeah. A little while. Okay, Pawni, ma'am. What is your favorite game? Okay. Go on. Yeah. Don't wait for the responses. Ah. Uh, hello. Are not audible? Yeah. Yeah. One second, please, ma'am. What is the happiest? No, it's okay. Your audio is not clear. If, uh, no answer go ahead go ahead yeah, i will ask yeah, only, i will respond i will respond 
Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, what is your uh, what is the happiest moment in your life? Uh, when I was blessed with my uh, son. Okay, okay. How do you feel? Feel happy. Um, really, it's amazing. Uh, I never forget. Uh, it's a great gift given by God to me. So, our ultimate goal is uh, to become a person. um even a good person remain on the earth after my death also yes, thank you sir so thank you thank you, yeah. thank you everyone thank, yeah. thank you thanks we'll move on all right please look at the chat box we have to involve the viewers as well now g s nageshwar rao diet lecturer here has written about my favorites all right your favorites and he says my favorite is rahul dravid i like his nature he always encourages young talents has extended his service to the indian cricket as a batsman as well as a keeper very good sir i just uh, i mean wish you could also be part of this interview so that's a good response and then somebody has posted questions for the interview and then many of you have written about how you spent your lockdown days so excellent my aim in life vijay kumari has written about my aim in life my main aim in in life is to be a good teacher in my school and the next one is i want to develop my speaking skills all right uh, yes excellent lockdown days yes kalyani has written about lockdown days sri devi my aim in life is to be best in my work all right to become a successful mother to become a well wisher to as many as possible who come across in my life so excellent thank you so much everybody many of you have responded uh, yes the best teacher i ever had was vinila vinil rani she has written the best teacher i ever had was my high school chemistry teacher who encouraged and helped me a lot from the bottom of my heart my deep gratitude to my teacher and then nageshwar rao best teacher i ever i ever had was ms jyoti she used to be very close with us ma'am taught many things uh, to us all right uh, yes and then yes 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 excellent very good thank you yes sharma has written who is your best teacher questions for the interview who is your best teacher who is your best friend all right okay thank you so this is i mean these are some of the activities which will help us as teachers as well as uh, our students to speak better yes so let's you can turn off your videos uh, teachers here in the studio you can turn it off all right and maybe just keep listening to the presentation okay so this is called oracy oracy or also called i mean it's, it's same as speaking so oracy means the ability to express oneself fluently and grammatically so it's not just okay so it's not just ability to express fluently but grammatically as well oracy means the ability to express oneself fluently and grammatically in speech so speaking is not just not just producing words all right is not speaking is not just saying words so communicative competence involves many other uh, skills so it is the ability to express yourself your thoughts your emotions and feelings fluently and in an appropriate language so talk is a primary means through which we share our ideas and thinking with others talk speech is a is a medium through which we express our ideas and our thinking with others if you look at the classroom so we use talk to pose and answer questions to explain concepts to push students to elaborate on their ideas and develop their understanding and provide feedback so in the classroom we as teachers we use oracy or we talk for many different purposes not just uh i mean language functions we use english for many different purposes to pose and answer questions plain concepts in maths or in environmental science in social science it's very important to explain concepts and make students understand the concepts in english and then we also talk to encourage students to elaborate to push them to elaborate on their ideas to give examples to elaborate and to develop their understanding and we also talk in order to provide feedback 
So oracy is a central part of everyday teaching and learning. So we cannot neglect this teacher talk or classroom talk. Why do we speak even in, in the school environment? All right, so this is a central part of everyday teaching and learning. We cannot neglect speaking. See, on the one side, we teachers have to speak all the time. On the other side, we give opportunities for students to speak, to explain the concepts, to share their thoughts and ideas, right? So it's important for both. So hereafter, I'm going to share some open educational resources, which you can use in the classroom or for your own uh, uh, improvement. These are all available on different websites. I'm going to share some of these resources. Or let me see. Let me try. Yes. So, yeah. It'll take some time uh, to open. All right, I'm taking you to a different website. Let me see if, yes. Hello. Okay. Sorry, it's we are not, not able to see. Uh, we, we are. Uh, okay. Okay. Your okay. uh, screen. You just stop share and start with the browser yes, by sharing your browser. Yes. 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 So I can put this link on the chat box. Okay. Or right, once. It. I mean, it's taking some time. Okay. We we'll just wait for thirty sir, seconds. It's opening. Sir, while you are sharing, no. Ah. Uh, you select other window in uh, okay. browser window. Okay. Okay. Browser window. window. Yes. Okay. Now, okay. Again, you start sharing. Yes. You can see, sir. It's uh, yeah. Now this yes. Is, okay. This is good. good. This is from Pratham Story Weaver. Pratham Story Weaver is an excellent website uh, for reading and listening to stories. They have developed stories for different levels: level okay. one, level two, level three, level four, and there are stories in many different languages. english as well as other indian languages so this is i have just picked up one story the title of the story is watch out the tiger is here please keep reading on the screen you can look at the screen read for yourself maybe silently or you can read it aloud i'll take you to the first page yes just read it for yourself that's all it's very useful in developing uh, reading and then speaking students can repeat after the teacher or students can read aloud and then you can check their uh reading aloud skills yes that's the first page so one of you in the studio can read perhaps yes it's Nagel. not easy being a tiger yes tigers are beautiful and fair very good carry on next tigers are also big and heavy this makes it difficult for them to hunt for food Yeah. Out of every twenty times a tiger hunts, it eats only once. Okay. When a tiger moves through the forest, how, how, how the tiger calls, just like a no, no, not the tiger, not the tiger. The langur calls. The langur calls just like an old man coffee. Cow, cow, cow. How, how? The barking these calls like a scared dog. How, how? Hmm, hmm, hmm. The spotted deer calls like a little bird. How? Deer. How? How? Deer. The spotted deer. Deer. Sir. Yes. Uh, deer. Can you read it again? Yeah. Yes. How? How? The spotted deer calls like a little bird. How? 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 The whole forest. knows the tiger is here how how 
the tiger wonders where has everyone gone yeah that's the end of the story yes right that's all yes so that's one useful website now okay yes let's see. okay all right. yes okay all right so this is i mean if you go to, i don't know i'll just try playing the same story from youtube all right i'm just trying i don't know if the audio video will work let's try one Yes, yes. Watch out! The tiger is here. Written by Sejal Mehta, illustrated by Rohan Chakravarti, narrated by Rohan Joshi. It's not easy being a tiger. Yes, tigers are beautiful and fierce, but tigers are also big and heavy. This makes it difficult for them to hunt for food. Out of every 20 times a tiger hunts, it eats only once. When a tiger moves through the forest, the langur calls, just like an old man coughing. The barking deer calls like a scared dog. The spotted deer calls like a little bird. The whole forest knows the tiger is here. The tiger wonders where has everyone gone? All right. Yes. Next, so you have stories in English. You have stories in. Oh, wait, sir. Wait, wait. Ah, what's the title? Please read. So one of you can read. Amma school ke veli na puru. Hmm. Amma school ke veli na puru. Ha. Mira. Mira. Vela nenu me school ke vacha. Telsa. అంది అమ్మ అవునా అంది మీరా మీ స్కూల్ గేటు బోర్లా తెరిచి ఉంది వాచ్మెన్ ఎక్కడ లేడు ఓ అతను అప్పుడు మా క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో ఉన్నాడు మా టీచర్ వచ్చేసరికి ఎందుకో కనుక్కుందామని వచ్చాడు లే మరి మీ టీచర్ ఎందుకు అరిచింది అడిగింది అమ్మ ఎందుకంటే రోహన్ ఏడువడం మొదలెట్టాడు కనుక మరి రోహన్ ఎందుకు ఏడ్చాడు అమ్మ అడిగింది కుతూహలంగా ఎందుకంటే జూ నుండి వాడు తెచ్చుకున్న పాము కప్పని మింగేసింది అందుకే టీచర్ కెవ్వు అని అరిచింది ఏమైందో తెలుసుకుందామని వాచ్మెన్ పరిగెత్తుకొట్టు వచ్చా కానీ నేను నా క్లాస్ రూమ్ కు వెళ్ళాను అక్కడ ఎవరు లేరే and the amma okay that's enough i think i'll stop yeah thank you so much sir thank you yes so you will see lots of such stories in different languages what you can do is maybe students can read and then try to translate them into english or teachers can translate these stories into english there is it's such a rich resource that we have which is freely available online So you've got Telugu stories in for different levels, level one, two, two, three, four. So according to the level of the children, you can pick out stories either in Telugu or English and do a lot of creative exercises, translation. See, there is a tool for translation also. Children can translate or teachers can translate or they can draw pictures. You can just narrate stories. They can draw these pictures. 
if you can't use online what you can do is you can take these ideas select the best stories and you tell them maybe spend 10 15 minutes every day telling stories it helps a lot in developing speaking skills okay all right now i'll move on with my slides yes yeah next one so the final thing i am going to share is some stories from the website called magic box all right magic box english stories let me see if this opens okay i need some time all right to share this video yes one Good grammar and spelling are important. But if you want to write essays that inspire. Yeah, just one. Second. Yeah, yeah, I'll 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 do that once. Yes. I'll share the screen yes once. Yes. Right. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Yes, I hope you enjoyed listening to these stories. These are from Magic Box. There are again plenty of stories available. I thought you could make the best use of these resources which are again open. Anybody can use them in any form, all right? Okay. Now uh, I'm going to show you a couple of tasks uh, speak in uh, just try to grade them which one is the easiest and which one is the most difficult put them in an order from easy to difficult all right so there there are i think six speaking activities you just have to decide the order first if you say this should come first that's the easiest one and then next easiest and third fourth fifth sixth sixth one will be the most difficult speaking task okay right this is one task in groups this is from a textbook all right in groups of six students have to talk about uh, yeah so talk about your surroundings the food you eat your daily activities discuss how all these can help or hinder your health okay so in groups of six students have to talk about their surroundings where and how they live the food you eat some clues are given actually and their daily activities and then at the end they'll have to discuss how all these can help or hinder their health then students have to make a list of do's and don'ts to stay fit and healthy and to avoid falling ill they have to share this with their class all right this is one speaking task okay let's look at task 2 work in small groups work in groups of 5 select a common experience that all of you share it could be a field trip for example each of you should talk about your memories of the experience the colors the sounds the taste the smells and the feelings then there are some more instructions dash 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 finally when everyone has finished the group should combine the sentences into a single poem give your poem a title okay so students have to work in groups of 5 they have to select a common experience that all of them have to share it could be a field trip a picnic anything then they have to talk about the memories of the experience the color the sounds the taste then they have to write a short poem based on their experiences all right that's another task okay and then task 3 work in groups make a list of things you are willing to share and things you would not want to share compare your list with the other groups tell each other why you are willing to share some things and not others are you happier when you share who are you willing to share with all right again group work they'll have to make a list of things they are willing to share not willing to share and then compare their list and then say why they are willing to share not willing to share are they happy sharing things next each group must choose a part of the text and mime it they have to choose a part of the text a part of the story apart from the lesson and they have to mime it 
okay miming is acting it out without speaking the other groups must try and guess the part that is being acted out for example the king is standing at the window enjoying the sounds of nature so students have to mime this particular sentence or action okay task 5 work in pairs choose a picture of a vegetable fruit or crop from the cards your teacher gives you do not show your partner your card describe the picture the size shape how it is grown whether it can be eaten raw and so on your partner should guess what picture you have on your card so students have to work in pairs it's a pair work each child will get a card and then they have to describe the picture all right and the partner has to guess the picture and then they have to exchange the rules and repeat this with another card okay finally task 6 say this aloud students have to say the words aloud sleep sweet teeth tree wake take cake plate right okay so which task do you think is the easiest one i'll I, you can quickly go through the tasks again and tell me which is the easiest one you can type it in the chat window task 1 task 2 task 3 task 4 task 5 6 okay yeah please type in the chat box which is the easiest one and maybe why you can also say why yeah six i think most chinta shanti and then yes yeah, shrinivas so most of you feel that task 6 is easiest one right children have to just read the words aloud read and repeat kind of thing which helps them in developing good pronunciation identifying the sounds and pronouncing them clearly or task 6 is the easiest one and then which is the next easiest task task 6 should come first that is activity 1 okay then okay yeah six is the easiest one everybody is saying it's just repetition okay six is the easiest one next put all the tasks in an order just write 1 2 3 4 5 6 or yes yeah speakers here in the studio maybe you can also respond tell me which task is the easiest which is the most difficult it is on zoom can you share your uh, opinion task 1 sir next one okay so it's because of daily activities next you think task 1 is easier yes i okay. feel it okay then then task uh, field trip field trip okay field trip task 2 okay then next uh, describing a picture describing a picture okay very easy sir okay ha 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 then yes sir next next one is the task 3 i think task 3 okay make a list of things you are willing to share and things you are not willing to share okay and then I think I have completed all. Okay, so okay, all right. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Mahesh Reddy has written six one three two four five. Six one is not that easy. One will not come as the second one in the ranking. Rama Devi has written six five four one two three. Anjaneer Uma has written six four five two one three. Six, okay, six five. Somebody has written six five, and somebody has written six four. S okay, six five or six four, which is easier? Five is describing a picture. Yes, describing a picture. We'll put it or a fruit. That's that's it. You have to just describe. 
yes right i think yeah let me let me tell you yes yes i'm i'm just looking at the chat box okay 65 what is 5 sorry 65 5 not really not 5 one will not come one is slightly difficult okay 64 yeah class 2 or class 1 okay 6 and then it is actually then it is task 3 task 3 is just making a list of things students are willing to share not willing to share making a list of things that's all okay so first one is repeating the sounds repeating the words second one is make a list of things you are willing to share and things you are not willing to share compare your list with the others and tell why you are willing to share are you happy when you share not happy i think this is for class 3 class 4 if it is english medium maybe even class 2 children can do this list of things they want to share they don't want to share then why that's all okay and next one is uh yes next one is describing a picture describing a picture all right they have to uh save describe the size shape and all that okay and next is task 4 miming they just have to select a part of the text and mime it not the full scene just one or two sentences pick out one or two sentences mime and others have to guess what is being mimed i think that's come that activity comes next and next one is task 1 talk about your surroundings and the food you eat and then your daily activities and discuss how all this can help you in keeping fit okay or hinder your health see look at the mental process involved it's not just speaking here they'll have to think about many different things they talk about three different things and then how all these can help or hinder their health and then make a list of do's and don'ts to stay fit and healthy So look at the number of things involved in this particular task. List of do's and don'ts, and how to avoid falling ill. Then share it with your class. It's quite tough actually. Maybe for grade four, five, or six, depending on the level. Okay. And the last one is task two. Work in groups of five. Select this is more abstract. All right. This is this. as some cognitive load also they have to select a common experience that all of them can share in the group and then they should recall their memories of the experience the colors the sounds the taste the smells and the feelings and then it's not just that and when everyone has finished the group should combine the sentences into a single poem see they'll have to think of writing a poem give your poem a title this is much more difficult than the other tasks so that will be the order okay the point is again okay so more than grading or ordering or ranking these activities what is important see if you look at the textbook of one particular class you will see this gradation unit 1 does not begin with the most difficult speaking activity there is some sort of gradation we move from simple to complex so that's a kind of uh, principle followed in textbooks so at the end of the year students should be able to speak at a higher level all right so if you look at unit 1 in the textbook you will have some simple speaking activities if it is grade 1 grade 2 re reading aloud exercises repeating kind of activities repeat after the teacher and when they go to the end of grade 1 maybe so first unit repeating sounds and then maybe slowly we move on to repeating words then repeating sentences and class 3 may be repeating small dialogues so that's the kind of gradation maintained in textbooks but from unit 1 to unit 8 you'll have to see the gradation how are the activities graded are they all at the same level or do you see complexity when you move on from one unit to another i think this is very very important so in the beginning of the academic year if students are not able to speak much it's fine but at the end of the year we should really see some improvement in their speaking so that again depends on the learning outcomes so all your speaking activities should be designed based on the learning outcomes 
So unit wise, I think AP textbooks have learning outcomes. At the end of each unit, you will see the outcomes. And this is from NCRT, a set of learning outcomes from NCRT. These are related to many different skills, but I have just selected those outcomes which are related to speaking. So according to the NCRT outcomes, the learner at the end of primary education, that is at the end of class five, children should be able to do all these. The learner answers coherently in written or oral form to questions in English based on day-to-day -day life experiences, unfamiliar story, or poem heard or read. They answer in written or oral form. They should be able to do that by the end of class five. And then the learner recites and shares English songs, poems, games, riddles, stories, tongue twisters, etc. Recites and shares with peers and family members. That's the out. And then acts according to instructions given in English. They listen and then act accordingly. And then reads independently in English. Storybooks, news items, headlines, advertisements. Talk about it. See, they read. That's the input given. And the output is they talk about it and compose short paragraphs. It's all integrated, reading, speaking, and then comes writing. At the end of class five, children should also be able to conduct short interviews of people around them. Conduct short interviews of people around him or her. For example, interviewing grandparents, teachers, school librarian, gardener, etc. All right. Then uses meaningful grammatically, uses meaningful grammatically correct sentences to describe and narrate incidents and for framing questions. Now, this is very important. And then connects ideas that he or she has inferred through reading and interaction with his or her personal experience, so connecting ideas with their personal experiences, takes dictation, or literally speaking, but listening. They listen, understand, and then take dictation. Now, this one is not related. That's what I said. I have taken uh, outcomes related to different aspects. Uses the dictionary. I just wanted you to say whether it is related to speaking or not. Now, using dictionary is not related to speaking and takes dictation, not really a speaking activity. Writes paragraphs, not speaking. It comes under writing. So there are outcomes related to writing, using dictionary, reference skills, listening, and then reads. So this is about reading. Reads, understands, and answers queries. And then looks at cartoons. And then speaks. She so looks at cartoons, pictures, comic strips, and then speaks a few sentences about them. That is production. Attempts to write creatively. That is writing. Writes and speaks on peace, equality, etc., suggesting personal views. So they express personal views. They speak on diverse topics and appreciates either verbally or in writing the variety in food, dress, customs, and then, yeah. Uh, or whatever they see on videos, films, etc. They appreciate either verbally or in writing. Right? Yes. So these are the outcomes at the primary level. I think it's very, very important to design speaking tasks, activities. Yes. And this is the last slide, sir. And accordingly, you have to think of formative assessment. Assessment should keep learning outcomes in mind. And you'll have to design activities for assessing students speaking as well. All right. So that's all. I think with this, I'm going to conclude my presentation for today. There are a few more slides. I don't think we have time to discuss. We can meet some other time and have uh, interesting discussion. So thank you very much. Uh, and I appreciate uh, all the teachers who came on Zoom and actively participated in many different activities. I appreciate all the teachers who are viewing on YouTube, Facebook for your active participation, for your responses and answers. Thank you very much. And thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, one and all, really. So though there is technical uh, issues, uh, no, we reached to the end of the session. Thank you very much. Very interactive session, sir. We had very nice uh, uh, thing also. Uh, there is a few questions, sir. Yeah, can, may yes. I ask, sir? Yes, sir, please. Yes. Bhaskar Bodetti is asking that. Uh, so. We are following the British and the American uh, English, yes, no? Which one is good for us, preferable? Yeah, and yeah I mean, which is preferable is better. So you know, there is nothing like, yeah, good or working for an American client, American company. You need to acquire American accent. 
whereas if you're working for an australian business firm you need to speak like an australian so that's when children grow up all right they will decide which accent they have to follow but primarily we follow british accent all of us are uh, am exposed to british english so we follow british spelling british conventions in writing and british pronunciation there is something called rp received pronunciation that's because of our uh, colonial history but these days there are lots of materials available uh, in american uh, accent also american, related to american english but we all follow british english sir yeah thank you thank you very much sir thanks for nice answer uh, second question uh, jay kumar from himili what is best method to uh, for, for making students participate actively during uh, teaching speaking skills that's a, yeah that's a good question i think in your reading material the reading material that is shared i think you will get answers for this particular question what is the best method to develop speaking skills in students there are a lot of fluency activities that you can do but in the reading material adrian tenant he has written a few articles he says fair work is a best method to develop students speaking because you can't address the whole class you can't ask the entire class to repeat to answer your questions so the best thing is to divide them into pairs small groups he says fair work and small group work are mandatory in a speaking class so that you can involve each and every child they not only listen to the teacher they listen to the peer group they listen try to respond to each other all right i think that answers your question fair work you. involving you. everybody yes yes uh, one reflection on first answer why not indian yes. accent yes yes indian accent yes yes indian accent is i mean accent is i mean if you have listened to my presentation earlier accent is not the criteria for assessing one speaking skill we all have our own accent if you hear someone coming from kerala they have a typical accent all right you can easily identify uh, their hometown similarly i mean all of us kannada telugu speakers tamil speakers we have different accents so what is desirable is to acquire a neutral accent we don't call it indian accent now it is called international accent not necessarily indian accent when you go abroad when you travel international speaker should be able to understand your speech so that's called international act ie ie is international english global english indian english is fine indian accent is fine as long as everybody in india can understand you easily and ciefl efl university is working on that they've developed a lot of materials on indian english indian vocabulary but ideally we should acquire an intelligible accent an accent which is easily understood by everybody not only in india but in other countries also that's why we call it international accent 